so we we want to want to see different ways uh, to to see what what is there inside a directory okay let's see that we we are in this directory here and we we want to use Python to to get all name of these files and so uh, let's get into let's open our PowerShell here or the command line is the same thing and let's uh, let's open Python um, the version that we're going to use is this 304 here we can use um, we can import the OS module and then we will print OS uh, list there and we'll get all the files very very simple um, but um, we can also do this to to get all our files in a directory so for for files in X print print files and we get the list of the of the files you see you have also um, one directory list and by cache okay uh, but uh, let's exit from this version and um, let's get into another another version of Python um, and also here always in a 3.4 we can import uh, path lib okay it's another uh, library and we can get the file f for f in um, path pathlib dot path we use this class here with this to get in the current directory and then iter dir this method uh, we will get all the files but if you want to get just the files and not the directory you can put this if f if f um, if f dot is uh, is file that will give us only files and you see you get this this way of um, showing you the files if you want to have only the name of the file you can do f.name and so here it is we get only the file for f in x print f we will have only the files um, without this uh, window path thing and um, and so this is pathlib you gotta use this way to get into this iterator that is more efficient than uh, uh, the OS list here that we seen before but let's exit from this version and uh, let's use the 3.6 or 3.5 version of Python uh, here we have um, some other methods from OS there is OS work um, that requires this thing here okay and if you see for f in os dot work print f we will get all the files and also in the subdirectory okay we if we just want to stay on the on our 
directory without going in the subdirectory we can use next os.work um, and we have this thing here without going in the subdirectory so we will have the root here this thing here then we have um, two another a list of the directories here and then we have a list of files so if um, if, if we make x2 x0 is is the root x1 are the directory and x x2 are the the files so if we want the for x in 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 uh, for file in x the to the array number two print file we will have our file but we have also also the deer so with the work method you can you can have also also the deer so for other this is useful too um, apart from OSD we have also scan deer from the version 3.5 and we can use it this way for example we can make F F name for F in uh, OS dot scan deer if f is this file and then we have all our files.